All right, this is the second video, how to adjust the potentiometer on the reaction. I've got um, a piece of wire for the air wheel. I've got my Bluetooth speaker connected and I'm going to turn this on. If you notice, you have got some reaction, some whistle. What you're going to do is back it off by turning your screwdriver clockwise with the radio facing the front. Turn it clockwise. All you've got to do is just get it down. So you get when you touch the knob to the end, you should get the reaction just start. More or less to the end. You won't get it exact. Really, it should be a bit lower than that. But hand capacity doesn't help. So that's about it. That's all you need. And that will cover you for all bands. Now remember to set this one at three quarters the RF gain. Uh, one mod I will do on this is change that antenna socket for a BNC with an adapter for an SO239. I might actually uh, have a switch and keep the binding post as well. This one I think I'm going to resell on eBay. I paid 50. I'm going to resell it and I'm going to buy a kit. Unbuilt and then I'm going to build it. Uh, I may even keep this and buy a kit and then I'll be able to show it off at the club. At our meeting that we do at the showground in Shepton next year, I might actually show this one built and then one apart and say the following year this will be built and the old one will be given away. That would encourage people to come. They will buy a lottery ticket next year and um, uh, that year, and then the following year they'd be like 50p. They come along and they get a free receiver or a free wacky heaver and um, so uh, that's what's hoping to happen uh, those are the coils the inductors not proper coils pretty that is a proper coil uh, but it's a, a lazy coil i call it c5 might need touching up this is fine what's happened is my signal generator was inaccurate so um i tuned it as near as i could now all I've got to do later on is get my frequency counter out, plug it up to that signal generator and then um, get it set it, um, enough to tune it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this upstairs now and we're going to put the air wheel to it and pick up a couple of stations and let you hear it with a station. So um, this is part two of um, how to do the reaction or the tickler coil in um, an MFJ8100. It's a very simple kit to build, but it's a very simple thing to get wrong. The simpler the thing is, the more harder it is to set it up, believe it or not. It doesn't have a lot of settings, but you really need to set it up properly. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to turn this off now, and uh, then we'll tune it in upstairs. So, Tata Trezis.